This is a pregnancy strip having three zones of function. Recall that, reaction zone is made up of monoclonal, enzyme-conjugated, anti-HCG antibodies. These antibodies are also known as mouse antibodies. And these antibodies are loosely attached to the strip. Test zone is made up of immobilized, polyclonal, anti-HCG antibodies, and, inactive dye molecules. And the controlled zone is made up of immobilized anti-mouse antibodies, and, inactive dye molecules. The anti-mouse antibodies are specific for the reaction zone antibodies. Let's first understand working of positive pregnancy test. Urine sample is applied in the sample port of the pregnancy test strip. And here, we assume that, the urine applied has been taken from a pregnant woman. Thus, HCG is present in this urine sample. These are HCG molecules. Urine is drawn up the strip by capillary action, and, it arrives at the reaction zone. The monoclonal, enzyme-conjugated, anti-HCG antibodies present in this zone, recognize and bind to the specific epitopon HCG molecules. As we said before, these antibodies are loosely attached to the strip. So, as urine arrives in this zone, these antibodies get detached, and, travel along with the urine by capillary action. Here note that, HCG-bound enzyme-conjugate antibodies, and unbound enzyme-conjugated antibodies are moving towards the test zone along with the urine. Now, let's see what happens in the test zone. Recall that in the test zone, polyclonal anti-HCG antibodies are present. These antibodies bind to the HCG molecules of the HCG enzyme-conjugated antibody complexes. Here, you can see that HCG is now sandwiched between the two antibodies. That is, between the antibody of the reaction zone, and the antibody of the test zone. Again, as we said before, the antibodies of the test zone are fixed. Therefore, these test zone antibodies, and, the sandwich complexes formed by them do not move further along with the urine. But other free anti-HCG antibodies of the reaction zone continue to move further in the strip by capillary action. Next, the free or unbound reaction zone antibodies arrive at the control zone. We know that, reaction zone antibodies are also known as mouse antibodies. In the control zone, anti-mouse antibodies are present which recognize, and, bind FC region of the mouse antibodies. Now, look at the test and control zone. We know that, both zones have inactive dye molecules. And now, in both cases enzyme-conjugated antibodies are also present. The enzyme will act on the inactive dye molecule. And on activation, this dye will result in the color development. Thus, both lines, that is T-zone line and C-zone line will be colored. This is a positive test. In a negative pregnancy test, there is only one colored line, and that is in the C zone. Let's find out how this happens. Suppose urine sample which is applied in this pregnancy test strip, does not have HCG. The urine sample will flow to the reaction zone by capillary action. Now, when urine arrives at the reaction zone, the antibodies of the reaction zone has nothing to bind to. This is because urine lacks HCG. 
but, because the reaction zone antibodies are loosely attached to the strip, they get detached and move further with urine. When these reaction zone antibodies reach the test zone, they cross this zone without any interaction. This is because test zone antibodies are specific for HCG molecules. But now, no HCG is present here. Now these reaction zone antibodies reach the control zone. Recall that control zone antibodies recognize and bind the reaction zone antibodies. So, they bind these antibodies and fix them. Now have a look at test zone and control zone in a negative pregnancy test. There is no enzyme conjugated antibodies in the test zone. Therefore, there are no enzymes to act on the inactive dye molecules. Thus, no color development takes place. But in the controlled zone, enzyme conjugated antibodies are present. So, enzyme acts on the inactive dye molecule and colored line results. Thus, a single colored line, that is, in the controlled zone indicates that the test is negative. 